It is highly recommended that you view the entire tutorial. You can jump back and forth to review parts of the tutorial by clicking on the hyperlinks below. So whenever you are doing database searching, there's two ways to search the databases, through a keyword search, which is also known as a natural language search, or through a subject heading search. We are going to re review these two ways to search the databases. In keyword searching, you're searching the exact character string that you type into the search box. It searches in the title, abstract, and subject heading position of the record. You need to consider the singular and plural forms of words when you do this type of search. And you also need to think of synonyms for each concept. For example, if you're looking at a subject that has to do with older adults, you may have to search for older adults, aged, elderly, and geriatric to get a comp comprehensive search. In doing a keyword search, you also need to be aware of how formatting your words affects the search results. For example, if I'm looking for articles about needle sticks and I format the word needle stick with two words versus one word, I'm going to get a very significant difference in the number of results that I'm retrieve. Also be aware of the variant spellings between the British and American versions of words. And then we also need to think about words that have different meanings. So for example, if you do a search in PubMed for AIDS, even if you capitalize all the letters, you're still going to get results for visual AIDS, hearing AIDS, diabetic AIDS, in addition to articles about the disease AIDS. Keyword searches, searching is fine if you just remember these different caveats. It's also important to note that with keyword searching, you can also use truncation. Truncation is the asterisk at the end of the root word that will search for all the various endings of the word, like hospital, hospitals, hospitalization, hospitalized. Subject headings are words that are attached to an article to tell you what the article is about. The people that are attaching those subject headings aren't just pulling them out of the air. They come from a master list of words that have been chosen to represent a certain topic. For example, the term pressure ulcer, which is the subject in PubMed and CINAHL, is used to represent the words dubiquitous ulcer, pressure sore, and bed sore. So even if an author wrote an article that didn't have the word pressure ulcer, but had the word bed sore, when you do a subject search for pressure ulcer, that article will show up in the results. When you do a subject heading search, it will only search the subject heading field, not the title or the abstract. That's important to remember. It will pull all of the records with the same subject heading, which means that you spend a lot less time thinking about synonyms as you would in a keyword search. Subject headings in CINAHL and PubMed vary slightly. CINAHL has a more nursing focused terms. So now to recap, so keyword searching will retrieve records with an exact match in the title, abstract, or subject heading fields. The pros are that it retrieves more results and it's easy to use. It's kind of like Google searching. The cons are it's less precise, you get more irrelevant re results, and you must think about synonyms. So subject heading searching will retrieve all articles indexed in the database with that subject heading. The pros are it's more precise, you're gonna get less irrelevant results, and you don't need to use synonyms. The cons are that you have to use that master list to find the subject headings, and then your subject headings may not exist for all concepts. So then in that case, you will have to use keywords.